What's up? It's me, girl, Daytime. And this is the moment we have all been waiting for, the private premiere of The Hate to Give, starring Amanda Listenberg, Algie Smith, Regina Hall, and Lamar Johnson. And my good friend Kai is also in the film, so I cannot wait to see her. along with the rest of the cast. Okay, I'm so I've been watching you since Ruin the Hunger Games, and it's such an honor to meet you today. Uh, my question is, do you have any inspirational advice that you'd give somebody young like me? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think especially as women of color, there's always going to be so many forces in the world that will attempt to police you or to make your voice quieter or smaller. Um, and I would say a big tip is to never police yourself and never police your own voice and what you can be potentially capable of. Wow, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yeah, sure. nice Hey guys, it's me, girl, Daytime, and we're back, and today I have Algie Smith. Hey, hey, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, I can't complain, I feel good, I'm in Atlanta, we guys, the hate you give, there's a lot of love out here, I feel good. Okay, so are, are you visiting, how does it feel to be in Atlanta? Yeah, you know, well, I grew up here in Atlanta, I'm from Michigan, but I grew up here, so it feels good to be back home, I feel like this is my second home, so anytime I'm back in Atlanta, it's a, it's a blessing. Wow. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So you play the main character, am I right? Yeah, well, I play one of the main characters. I play Khalil, yeah. Okay, so that's such a powerful role. What did you have to do to pull yourself into character? To be honest, you know, I realize that my, my life isn't, isn't that far from Khalil's. I, I realize that that can be my reality at any time. I'm a young black man in America. You know, what happened to him could happen to me. And so for me, it was just making sure that I, I came through and I was just a vessel and I, I was able to speak for those who can't speak. Wow. So empowering. Uh -huh. <laughs> there we go. I'm here with Algie Smith and we're out. Um, so you play a, a very important role. Uh, tell me, how do you get into character? Or do you have any advice for others teaching them how to get in character? Um, well, there's so many different ways. Everyone has their own process. So I may do something different. I always start a character with how she wears her hair. None of my friends do that. <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't have, um, you know, I just... I don't know. It's very, I don't, you know, that's a very good question, and I don't really have a very good answer because um, every time it's different, you know what I mean? But um, I think everyone kind of has to find their way in, and what may one work for one character may not work for the next. But I, you know, but obviously taking the time, doing the rehearsal, reading as much as you can, all those things help. Thank you so much. And today I have Lamar Johnson. Hello. Hi. So tell me a little bit about the role you play in the movie. Uh, I play Seven Carter. He is the eldest brother of Star Carter. And, um, yeah, you know, he's a part of that support system for Star. You know, I feel like all the Carters are. Mm -hmm. Wow, so it's such a powerful movie, and I'm pretty sure you play a powerful part. Uh, how did you pull it together to play the part? Um, well, you know what? I actually uh, use a lot of personal experiences that I had personally and, and use it as a kind of vehicle to, to fuel this character. Um, so... You know, Seven, his experiences are, are, are very similar to mine, even, for instance, like code switching, you know, code switching, us living in Garden Heights in the hood and then going to a private school like Williamson, you know, and having to adjust and adapt to your environment, you know, very similar to me. I grew up uh, in the inner city of Toronto, Canada, and traveling an hour and a half out to go to an art school. So it was very similar for me um, and growing up without uh, uh, a parent you know, a parental figure, you know, I didn't really grow up with a father, and Seven didn't really grow up uh, with, with, a, with a mother. I mean, he did with Lisa, but his biological mother wasn't necessarily in his family. So a lot of my experiences that I had in life, um, you know, were, were, were used uh, in, in this character. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is amazing. I'm here with Lamar Johnson, and, and I'm back, and here I have the director of the film. Hey, how you doing? I'm George Stillman Jr., director of The Hate You Give. Hi, so what was it like uh, directing such a powerful movie? Um, it was awesome because when you got a piece of a material, like a great novel like The Hate You Give, you just love telling stories that's awesome, and this book was just amazing. I had to be behind it. Okay, so do you have any advice for when you're looking for children or youth uh, to put in your movies? Um, I'm always looking for people who want to tell stories, you know, act, young kids who like to go in their careers and be great actors. And I think that some of the best actors are young kids because they work on their really true human um, personality and they bring that out, and I think that's awesome. Wow, that is amazing. I'm here with the director of The Hate You Give, and we're back, and today I have TJ. Hi. So tell me a little bit about your role in the movie. 
Oh, so um, so I play so Connie Carter, the youngest brother of Star Carter, um, and um, I have to support a little bit of comic relief in this movie. So um, that's that's pretty much um, what I can tell you from now. Okay, what was it like being on set with Amanda? Um, Amanda is like my sister, and she's just a great person overall. So that was great. Um, is there anything that you've learned from being on set with the whole cast? Um, I just learned how to be humble and stay grounded. Don't be any, don't be, don't act like I'm better than anybody, and just stay great to myself. Amazing. I'm here with TJ, and we're back. And joining me today, I have Kai. Hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> awesome, awesome. So tell me your role in today's uh, movie. I play Young Star, and I'm just really hoping that this will change the community. This is a really strong and powerful movie, so yeah. <laughs> Joining me today, I have Hassan. Hello. Hi, so tell me a little bit about your role in the movie. I play Young Seven, and Young Seven is um, Star's sister, I mean brother. <laughs> And, you know, they have a nice relationship, and he has other sisters as well. And so, you know, he looks after Star and his sisters. It's kind of like the macho man or tries to be around the family. And I'm here with Reese Odom. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Okay, so tell me, why are you here today? I'm here to support an awesome message. You know, like, I'm always for those films that give a message. <laughs> and so to be here and support those that are part of the hate that you give, is just something that's really important to me as an actor, as a person that is in our society. Because it's really awful how people are having to deal with things that happen like this on a daily basis. And I have a nephew, I have nephews. So it would be an awful experience. And I'm here for the support for those who have been through it and to help those not ever go through it. Okay, so do you think this movie will have an impact and why? Oh, I'm, I'm sure that, that, that they'll have a, a very positive impact because it puts in the faces of those who pe probably never think about it that it is something that really happens and that they need to do something to stop it. Wow. So, uh, speaking of movies, do you have a favorite movie right now? My favorite movie right now? That's a hard question, Day. <laughs> <laughs> At least like a top three, maybe. God, I see so many. Tell me one of yours. Because uh, you see a lot, too. Yeah, I have the same excuse. And we're back, and today I have the author of the book, The Hate You Give. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, so tell me, uh, you wrote a book and now you're seeing it come to life. How does that feel? It's surreal. It's an honor. Um, hundreds of people came together to bring this movie to life, and just knowing that is an honor. So I'm so grateful to even be here right now. Okay, so do you have any advice for any young writers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. First. Write for yourself. Write the book that you want to read. Write the book that you want to walk into a bookstore and pick up one day. Write it for you. Don't write it for this. Don't write it for red carpet potential or any of that. Write it for that first. And also know that you may get a lot of no's along the way, but it only takes one yes to change everything. Wow, how inspirational. Okay, my last question. Do you have another book coming out? And if you do, when? Yes, my next book comes out February 5th, and it's called On the Come Up. And it's not a sequel or a spinoff to The Hate You Give, but it's set in the same neighborhood. And it's about a 16-year-old girl named Bree who wants to be a rapper, and her life is turned upside down when her mom unexpectedly loses her job, and a song she makes goes viral for all the wrong reasons. And she suddenly finds herself at the center of a controversy that's too big for her to control. Wow, I will surely be reading that book. Okay, so I just finished watching, well, we just finished watching The Hate You Give. So tell me your opinion on the movie. The movie was really good. It had some, you know, up and down roller coasters, but overall it was, like, amazing. I thought it was a good movie. I really loved it. I love seeing Regina Hall in a dramatic role. You know, we usually see her as a comedic actress, but to see her do something dramatic is really cool. So the movie was definitely interesting. I have to say it had so many turning points in the movie that made me, I guess, jump out of my seat. Uh, it had me crying. There was a mixture of emotions within the I'm movie. I'm Ray, and I'm with Daytime Magazine. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy Algie Smith right here with Daytime, and we representing Daytime Magazine for ya.